Determining the number of partitions. How to determine how many number of partitions should an RDD have? If an RDD has too many partitions, then task scheduling may take more time than the actual execution time. On the contrary, having too few number of partitions is also not beneficial, as some of the worker nodes could just be sitting idle resulting in less concurrency. Thus, there is always a trade-off when it comes to deciding on the number of partitions. Let's look deeper on how to determine the optimum number of partitions. Apache Spark can run as many number of parallel tasks as the number of cores available in the cluster at any moment of time. If a cluster has four cores, then it means Spark could run four tasks in parallel at any given point of time. So, we should be setting the number of partitions to be at least four or maybe two or three times of that. Let's say we have a four core cluster and suppose we are partitioning the data into five partitions. The first four partitions will run in parallel using the four cores of the Spark cluster and gets processed in five minutes. Let's assume that each task takes five minutes. The fifth partition will be reprocessed as a separate task, which takes another five minutes, which leads to 10 minutes of total execution time. This is obviously not an example of how the resources should be used effectively. So the best way to decide on the number of partitions is to keep it equal to the number of cores in the cluster. So in our example, since we have a four core Spark cluster, the number of partitions should also be four. This will process all the tasks in parallel and resources will be utilized in an optimal way. Note that you can use rdd.partitions.size to find the size of partitions in an RDD. The general rule when the number of partitions is in the range of 100 to 10,000 partitions is that the lower bound for Spark partitions is determined by two times the number of cores in the cluster available to application. So, if it is a 100 node cluster, then the number of partitions should be at least 200 for optimum performance. The upper bound for partitions in Spark should not exceed if an individual task takes less than 100 milliseconds time to execute. Why the 100 millisecond cutoff? This is because if each task completes very quickly in less than 100 milliseconds, then it means that the partition data is too small and it means that the application is spending extra time in scheduling tasks rather than leveraging the benefits of concurrency. To conclude this video, the number of partitions should be at least equal to the number of cores in the cluster or in multiples. The number of partitions shouldn't be too high or too low. In the next video, let's look at Spark SQL.